All right, we are here at day two, or technically day three of Invictus Launch Week 2953. Today, only one manufacturer is here, and that's Aegis slash Aegis. Pronounce it how you will. Okay, as is tradition, we get ourselves a nice cheddar ham burrito. the right one it is okay let's go on inside and see what there is to see today it's just the same it appears to be displays at this point are all the same as I expect Do these elevators go to the same place Let's go on down. All right. From this point on, I'm going to call it Aegis, even though the internet says it's properly pronounced Aegis. Aegis sounds better. You'll get over it. I feel like this should probably, uh, show relevant ships to today's event. That is not an Aegis ship, I can assure you that. But this TV over here just might have something different. I forgot to eat this. Let's eat this now and then watch TV.
It was described as a joyride like no other. A high-speed chase in disguise that covered several hundred miles of dense urban airspace. Within an hour, he had thousands of adoring fans who watched the authorities scramble to catch him. But Dez saved his best surprise for last. Alright, nice TV. I attempted to turn down the volume on this music in the background, but it's the same audio as what's coming out of the TV, so I couldn't do so. Hopefully you could hear it okay. Let's check out the ships. Looks like we have a hammerhead in the middle, a redeemer on the right. Uh, I don't actually know what this is. So let's check this one out first. What have we got? The retaliator bomber. Ah, I've never actually seen one of these in person before. But they are quite cool from what I've seen. Uh, yeah, we're going up whether you want to or not. Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, no, you're here. Okay! I don't know my way around this one. Let's go back here. Deck B. Oh, what is this room? Oh, Engineer Station. What have we here? Oh, Aegis does like these Engineer Stations, even though in the Reclaimer, at least, it doesn't do anything special. It's just got like the power management and it doesn't work here. That's right. How could it be so foolish? None of the electrical systems work on these. Those do be some bombs. Sounds like they're actually playing music inside the ship in this one. They weren't doing that on day one. That's neat. Enter turret. See what kind of turret we've got in this guy. Okay. On the right side, those guns. I, can't, I don't get a good look at them, but they don't look big. Maybe size 3? Okay. I'd imagine the other side is fairly symmetrical on this ship. What is that? <laughs> Spider web? It's a turret? Kind of looks, yeah, it is. Lower turret. What kind of view does this guy have? What? <laughs> did it just flip me up? I did. It flipped me upside down. I. I guess it makes sense, it is the lower turret, but the blood's going to rush to your head and you are going to be uh, not having a great time after a short period of time in that thing. So I may not be an Aegis Engineer, but this is a horrible design. Is this the way I came from? Yeah, that should be a remote turret for sure. What's with these spiderweb things? 
I don't know. That's weird. Actually, that reminds me. I'm not going to make the same mistake I did last time. I'm going to actually rent the ships as I look at them this time. Enter turrets. This is probably just the same as the other side on the wing at the top. Now the view of the bombs. Those are... I assume those are... Yeah, that's got to be like a bomb or a missile. That's a long boy. Okay. Mysterious room. Guy's still looking at, uh, whatever. So I think we've explored the entire back of the ship. Let's go look at the bombs right here. Can I open this? Can I open this? What happens? Did I do something? Huh? I don't know what that is. Very long boys, I must say. They're not as thick as the A2 bombs, but they are much longer. They look like torpedoes. Okay. Server's acting a little funny. Doors are doing weird stuff. So hopefully we can get through this without a 30k. I did not want to climb up that ladder. Another turret. Is this on the top? I think it is. Maybe not. No, looks like it's come from the bottom. So this is going to flip me upside down again. Okay. Again. Bad design. You know what? I just realized I'm stupid. Uh, without gravity, you wouldn't have the whole blood rushing to your uh, head thing. So you'd probably be fine in these. As long as you're not in atmosphere. Which you might be. But 50% of the time, you'll be good all the time. Okay. Yeah, nothing real special. Open exterior. Did it actually do anything? I don't think it did. But that's fine. It didn't work on day one either. And it's probably not supposed to. I assume this side is just... Oh, I was wrong. It's not more of the same. One bed. Is that it? Maybe there's a crew quarters up here. And this is like the captain's quarters. There's gotta be more than one bed. Another turret. This one looks to be on the top. Whatever. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the bunks. How many do we have? Six up here, one for the captain. So a total of seven. No, oh, what's that. Okay. Is this open? Or is this just a way to look out? I think that just looks out. Oh? Eh, doesn't do anything. Okay, uh, this is kind of an interesting one. These look like gun racks. More gun racks. Uh, so 12. 12 gun racks. What is going on with this? Just let me down the ladder. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of having to go up and down a ladder to get to the quarters. Uh, ladders are not safe in Star Citizen, as everyone who plays it already knows. Fire extinguisher? Maybe? Nice little detail. Okay, what is this? Docking port? Okay, well, that's one ship down. I like it, but I feel like it was not uh, planned out that well, at least the interior of it. There's that bottom gun. It's got a lot of landing gear. That seems excessive. Okay, well, I will rent it while I'm here. Cool. Uh, 
Um, let's check out the Redeemer next. That is a ship I actually do very much want. So I would definitely be testing out this rental. Let's just rent it right off the bat. Alright, how do we get in? Ramp in the back? Yeah, revolutionary. No one's done this before. Go on in. Really narrow ramp, too. The size of the ship. Alright, what do we have here? Is this cargo? I think this is for cargo. Stack two SCUs there. And another couple here. No, this is the bathroom. Cargo. Uh, really a weirdly placed bathroom. Bunks with the green lights. The Shrek beds. Four beds. What is this? Wardrobe. I wonder if you can actually use this. Can you close it? It does open and close. I don't know if you can actually store stuff in it, though. Okay, that storage works. As it should. Well, what do we have here? This actually has food in it? Does it come with this, or does somebody put these here? Oh, well, I'll eat one. The way these are laid out, I'm pretty sure these came with the ship. Uh, yeah, I think they did. Can I keep them? <laughs> Can I steal the stoop? I'm just gonna take one. All right. I don't know what you're talking about. I only took one. I don't know where those other ones went. Does coffee maker work? I think that's coffee. It does not work. I believe there's only one ship it currently does. More wardrobe things. I don't think those work, but I don't know for sure. Let's go on up. I like the lighting in this place. Okay. Very red. Very useful display. Top tier design. Turret. I think. Oh, connection. That one doesn't work. Enter lower turret. Let's see how this works. Is this one going to flip me upside down too? No. No, it doesn't. This is how it should be. Should not be upside down in a turret. I have no field of view. Oh, hey, person. Okay. I did happen to notice that it was loaded. Maybe not a great idea for uh, an event like this. I doubt it would let me shoot, and I'm not going to try because I ain't no psycho. Remote turrets. Remote front and rear remote turrets. This is. I don't know if all Aegis ships are kind of like this, but uh, this is very similar to how the Reclaimer is, though. You got the cockpit right up front, and then just a tiny bit behind it, you got on either side a couple turret seats. I like it. A good layout. Okay. Let's see what all we can see. Uh, not a whole lot. It's not the worst, but it's definitely not great. I guess the driver doesn't really need to see everything. The gunners need to see far more. And the gunners can't see anything in this either, so... Yeah, vision is a bit of an issue on this ship, it seems. Gravity generator. Is this just like the big ball in the reclaimer? Or just... Can I even open it? I don't think I can open it. 
Alrighty then. Oh, let's see what's back here. Just a seat. Okay. Modules, it looks like. I think this is more modules. Scanner, radar, battery. It's, what, a generator, maybe? Power station unlock. Can I take this? No, I cannot. Then I will close it. Do these work? These just aesthetics. I don't think they do anything. Is that really all there is to the ship? I like it. I just I was expecting a little more here. Let's check out this guy. I assume it's exactly the same as the bottom turret. I think these are size five guns. Very large boys. Yes. Yeah. See, it's uh, fully loaded. You know what? How do I turn this on? It's the power button, but I don't have an option to turn it on. Switch firing mode. Can I switch it to on? That's disappointing. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Whatever. There is no chance that they let you shoot this thing. I mean, we're in an armistice zone, so even if they did, it wouldn't work here anyway. Alright, I think I've explored everything here, right? And nothing... What is that? That's oh, a quantum, but yeah, there's nothing more up here. Okay, well, it's a little more basic than I thought it would be, but... I guess it's got everything it needs to have. It is just a gunship, after all. Is that really all the cargo space it has? Is this even cargo? I think this is cargo space. Eh, whatever. Cool. And now to the hammerhead. How do I get in here? Let's rent it. Because why not? Okay. Why are there so many people here? What are you guys doing? It? On both sides, too. Why is everyone just looking at the fancy watch? Huh. Okay, well, we'll just look around, I guess. Okay, here's a gun. Why is that glass all just... Does it actually look like that when you're in it? Yeah, it appears that it does. That's terrible. Why would they do that? You can't see anything. Buff out them scratches, jeez. I guess that's how they kind of balance this ship. Is it got more guns than it knows what to do with. And again, just like the Redeemer, really nice lighting. Do escape pods actually work? I've never actually tried using one. All right, bridge that way, cargo and engine room. Let's go that way. What's this? Engineer station. Classic Aegis ship. Okay. Put that out in a sec. Ooh. This is making me feel all tingly, like the cancer room in the Herc. This is somehow better. Also, why are all these particles coming out of it? That can't be safe. Who designed this thing? Getting a little laggy. Okay, uh, is that just a gun in the back? Yeah, it is. That is good and well. That is nothing. 
Those are nothing. That is pretty but annoying. It's laggy every time I get close to one of those. This is trying to give me a seizure. What is going on with that thing? Working as intended. It's supposed to do that. It's a feature. You guys just don't see the vision. Oh, the elevator. Going up. Okay. Engineer station. That's useless. Can look over this room for some reason. Oh, is that a cargo crane? Do those work? Can I turn this thing on? Maybe we can see if there's cargo crane controls, because that would be kind of cool. I mean, nothing else in these ships has ever worked, so I doubt this will. Yeah, it's not coming on. Oh well. Moving on. Oh, we're at an upper level now. We're, I'm going to get so lost in this thing. I'll try my best to look at everything. Cafeteria, basic, just a table and TV. There's not really anything else here. It looks like there's room for a lot of other stuff. Oh, there's this thing. Uh, microwave. Um, coffee. It doesn't work, but someday it might. More shelves. I don't know if people are really utilizing shelves a whole lot at this point. You can, I just don't think people really are. Those do nothing. Come on. What have we here? An elevator. Okay, where am I? Oh, this is where I start. Is this where I started? That's a gun. Cargo engine room. This way. This is where I started. Okay. We'll go around the other way. Another gun here, I assume. Yes, sir, there is. We've already seen what those are like. Open. Uh, an elevator that goes down again. I will hold off on that. Why is there a hole here? <laughs> okay. Weird. Alrighty then. That must be for use in space. Another gun. Like I said. More guns than it knows what to do with. Apparently, I don't think there is any ship in the game that's got more firepower than this. And the Javelin and the Idris probably will. I don't think you can use either one of those at, at this point. Open sesame. Alright, and this just goes back to the cargo and engine room. Okay, I think the main floor has been explored. Have I been in here yet? No, I have not. The main floor has almost been explored. No captain's quarters here? Is that what I'm seeing? Uh, I could enter seat, but that sounds like a big waste of time. Another gun. A lot of guns. An elevator that goes up. I feel like I've already been up. I'll check that in a second though, just in case I haven't, but I'm pretty sure I have. But at this time, wait, where is it? Here? Is this the elevator that goes down? Open. There we go, elevator that goes down. Ouch. Okay, so is this where you fly it? Co-pilot and pilot seat. Okay, I was not expecting it to be down here. 
Let's see what kind of view you got from here. Oh, moves this a little more centered. So you don't have a view at all. You can see right in front and a little bit down, but not much else. Which is fine for a ship of this size. You're going to have so many crew members that you don't really need to see much. They can do all the looking and they can relay any info you need to you. Probably fly this without even uh, having a window. Just have people tell you which way to go. It'd probably go just fine. Okay, well, let's go back up. Come on. The server is not happy now. These doors are not wanting to open. Okay. Let's go back to that elevator that went up, but I'm pretty sure that's the one that I jumped down. Here it is. Let's see, does this look familiar? I'm pretty sure I've been here. Come on. Cafeteria, yeah, I've been here. Okay, so I think I'm done looking through this ship. A little confusing, but I think I found my way around. I very much like this green lighting. So calming. That's what you want in the heat of combat. You want to relax. How do I get out of here? Oh, I think it's to the left, right up here. Yes, it is, with everyone looking at their phones. Typical. Some things never change. Oh, wait for me! <laughs> There's so many people on these things. These must just be AI. Oh. Do AI wear that shirt? Yeah, probably. Alright, that's everything in this main area. Take a peek over here real quick. Um, those are all the same, which probably means that all the other ones are the same. From a glance, I'm gonna say those are all the same. They definitely look like it. The guns will be way more obvious. I spent more time looking at them last time. Yes, those are definitely the same Russian nesting guns that I saw last time. I remember wasting a lot of money. So all those equipment things are the same, but I will still check them next time the ships change, just in case. This guy's still the same, and this guy I still can't use. That sounds about right. Well, let's see what they have in the back halls. I forgot to check the map, so I don't know for sure. Oh, this is new. I can't help but notice that these are the exact same people as there are on that cliff who are, Is it the cliff? No, it's the one where they're, uh, they're all up on the rock. And there's this guy on the right side giving the thumbs up. He's always giving that thumbs up. Are these, yeah, I think they're all the same people. I don't remember this hat, so this guy might be different. Whatever, it doesn't matter. What do we have over here? Oh, wait, what? This is a completely different room. That's not how convention centers work. The structure itself doesn't change. Whatever. That is a big gun. Vanguard Harbinger. Hey, he's got tracks. That's some weird landing gear. Let's take a look inside. Let's rent it first. Before I forget. Not that I would ever do that. 
but also gives our active service members much needed decoration. Munition, a bunch of gun racks, I think. A bunch of nothing that works. Shower. Or a toilet in here? That is something I haven't seen yet. A toilet. In any of these ships. Closed door. What door did I just close? I'll open it. Just this? Oh, it is just this. I think that's a component of some sort. There's two beds. More components. The tiniest cockpit I've ever seen. This is so cramped. So is this the whole ship? Is this all there is to it? It's tiny. I mean, it's not, but the interior is. Interesting. That's a lot of ship for how much interior there is. Huh. Cool. It's the same thing. No, it's a little different. Vanguard Hoplite. Is there going to be anything off? Oh, there is. Yeah. Oops. More gun racks. And instead of two beds, we got six chairs. So this, I assume, is more of a, uh, a drop ship than a gunship. And the cramped cockpit. Alright. And I will rent this boy as well. What else do we have? A smaller thing? A saber. Welcome to the Invictus ship. All of these vehicles you see on the Sublette are issued as this. For the expanding nature of operations throughout the system. Interesting. Have a look to see how each of these ships nope. will help defend the Oh, well, yeah, I probably should rent it. Okay, let's hop on in. How do I get in? No, I've already rented it. Does this have an interior? I mean, surely I could get into the cockpit from here, right? Huh. Seems to be broken. I can't get in. Much like the Starfarer from day one. Whatever, it's not like I could see anything. It's just the cockpit. It doesn't look like it has any interior inside. Gladius. Now this one I've actually used. And it's cool, I guess. Uh, I like the way the thrusters reorient themselves. As you uh, maneuver, oh, nope. <laughs> nope, that just opens the rental thing. Huh. I guess it's not going to let me in. I think this is the steps right here, but I can't get in. Sir, your gun is interfering. Oh, these are the steps. Okay, yeah. So that's how you get in. But, again, it's just a fighter. It, there's nothing to it. It's just a cockpit. There's nowhere to walk around. This guy here, though. Saber Comet. Got a fancy camo skin. I like this. I don't know what it does. But I like it. Oh, this guy holds the gun sideways. And this guy's holding Glocks in Detroit. This is a cool ship just for that. He from the hood. He knows what's up. Isn't this just... What is this? Vanguard Warden. Why does every one of these ships look basically the same? First glance, I thought this was, uh... Oh. Never mind, it is that same ship over at the other side of this place. Tiny cockpit. What's different about this one? Two bunks. 
Okay, engineering station. Those don't do anything at this point, as far as I know. Huh, so this one's got like... Living quarters? <laughs> it's got a toilet, I guess. How is this any real, really different than the first one? The other one also had two beds, some gun racks in the wall. It didn't have all this, but none of this does anything. I guess at some point it might, but at this point this ship just seems... ...worse. It's like the same ship, just worse in every way. Okay, and another Vanguard. Why are there so many Vanguard variants? Heavy fighter. Okay, let's take a peek. Okay, this one's different. Got a toilet, that's a good sign. Got all the other stuff, that doesn't do anything. But it's got this wall of uh, charts and graphs and stuff, which... That is just spam. That means nothing to anybody. But it's got two beds, it's got engineer station, so this is the same ship. This is the same thing I just looked at. It must have like different guns or something, because functionally this is exactly the same ship. It's just laid out a little differently. Wait, what's that? Oh, quantum drive. I don't care about that. Cool. Did I look at everything here? I believe I did. Let's go check out the other side of the convention center. What is... What is going on down there? How did you guys get there? No wonder the server's so laggy. There's just like tons of NPCs stuck in every crevice of this place. Is this how they're stress testing the servers? Yeah, there's more of them. Uh, well, I guess these guys were already here. But yeah, there's just tons of these guys stuck everywhere. There were definitely not this many on day one. Yep, those are all the same guns. Let's check in here. There's so many. How is... How? <laughs> Huh. I mean, the NPCs are more of a spectacle than the ships are. They're just everywhere. All right. Is this room just a bunch of penguins? What is this? Avenger Titan Renegade Light Freighter. I'm sure it's somewhat different than the regular penguin. It looks different. I guess it's got that going for it. But we can compare them all. Yeah, again, a fairly narrow cargo bay. One bed, as you would expect from a Titan. I actually got a very good view from this cockpit. But aside from that, yeah, not much. It's got a bed. It's got a cargo bay. Uh, does that have a bigger gun than this one? No, I, th I believe they're the same size. Can I actually climb up this? He can. You can go up the ladder or go through the ship. That's nice. I wish the cutter had that. Okay. Okay. Avenger Stalker. What's the difference with this one? Just a bunch of Titan variants. Missiles? Okay, this looks like a narrower cargo bay. What are these? Huh. 
Uh -huh. I don't know what this is. Huh. Interesting. I have no idea what these are for. But aside from that, one bed, some other stuff, and the cockpit. Yeah, these are weird. Oh well. I'll get to that big middle guy in a sec. Let's check out all the other penguins. Avenger Warlock. Didn't I really look at one of these? Maybe not. Who can keep track? They're all the same ship. What's even the difference? Well, there probably is one. Oh, yeah, like this. Oh, this one doesn't have... Yeah, this one doesn't have a way uh, into the cockpit from the back. It was just like an electronic warfare one. It probably says here somewhere. Mm, EMP, yep. Makes sense, makes sense. Cockpit looks the same. Guns look the same, missiles look the same. Is this the OG? It is, Avenger Titan. Let's see. Oh, those are prisoner cells on that other one. Free to carry cargo. This has a spacier cargo bay. Oh yeah, yeah, that's better. And the bed, and the cockpit, nothing to see there. So the only difference between any of them is just the cargo bay. Which is fine. Okay, let's check out this big lad. Aegis or Aegis Eclipse. Stealth Bomber. Does it have an interior, or do you have to go into just the cockpit? That does not look like it opens. Cockpit it is. Uh huh. Cockpit it isn't. <laughs> you just. Oh, wait. Open sesame. Just one in. Just let me in. Am I not allowed in? Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess I'm not allowed inside this one, but it looks like it's just the cockpit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Got them foldy wings, like the arrow has, which is cool, I guess. Where's the guns on this thing? Oh, that is not very big. Size three, maybe? Yeah, size three. So this must have like a big bomb bay. Yeah, this thing probably opens. Okay. Well! I feel like day one had a little more to see. But it's not quite finished yet. Or maybe it is. I don't think it's finished yet. <laughs> I gotta check in that underground place. Right there. Oh yeah, it's got a couple things. What am I stuck on? Where did, you, where did you come from? I am so sorry, ma'am. Sometimes, you know, you're just running through the halls of a convention center and you end up inside somebody. It happens. It happens. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, that guy's got some moves. What is going on here? 
I must just be in a really broken server. But we're almost done. This nightmare is about to end. have we here? Fancy. Is this all the same? Just the history of everything? It appears to be. Come on, let there be something cool, not another hologram. Why do bad things happen to relatively okay people? I mean, this looks like it could be a really cool ship to go through. But it's not even here. What is that? Aegis Dynamics Mine Layer. The Nautilus! I've wanted this ship. It doesn't even exist. Why is it here? Don't, don't taunt me like this. What's this large lad? This girthy fellow. Aegis Vulcan? Medium repair, medium refuel. Why must you tease us with these ships? If they're not ready, just don't remind us. Alrighty then. All right. That's the way I went down. That's the way I came up. So they go to the same place. <laughs> what is going on here? Is this part of Fleet Week? Oh, wait. Let me out. I don't want to be here. Okay. These poor servers, what are you guys all waiting here for? Well, everyone is welcome to the Bevic Convention Center to enjoy a day of Alright, I think that's about it for the Aegis last Aegis event here. I was kinda hoping to see a reclaimer. But I think I found something even better. Alright, I think that just about wraps things up for today. So, looks like we're halfway through this list, but, 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 this is not the entirety of what's going on. Because there is something about Defense Con right after this. I don't know what that is, but it's got something to do with Drake. So, we got that to look forward to, but before that, we have Anvil Aerospace up next. And then, a lot of other stuff. All kind of clumped into one little event. So that could be cool, we'll see what comes from that. But, this has been Aegis slash Aegis. And it was a little less eventful than, uh, you know, the other one, because I don't think there's anything actually new in uh, today's event. But it was still nice to look at all the ships. I have wanted a Redeemer for quite a while now. So getting to go through it and kind of look around was nice. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. I will be going through every phase of Invictus and then Defense Con and hopefully all future events as well.
Also worth noting, the Free Fly event is continuing through May 30th. So if you have not yet tried out Star Citizen, this is an excellent chance to do it for free. And if you do decide you want to buy the game, remember there are those two Invictus starter packs. One with the Pisces, one with the Avenger Titan. Both containing a special Invictus blue and gold skin, and 10 years of insurance. Sign up with the link in the description to also get some other free stuff. I'll see you all in the next video, and Godspeed!